Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with another video, and this one is from the special event at um, uh, One Hive Genesis. It's called Goblin COC. Uh, that's the name of the clan we're in, and basically what we're doing is a Thanksgiving event where uh, we're doing some special attacks. So we just, I'm not in the war, but uh, 45 guys all got in this clan, and basically the rules are uh, they get given an army composition, and then uh, someone gives them a base to attack, and they have one minute to play on the attack using the army composition they were assigned and the base they were assigned. Uh, so one person gets to choose uh, who you're attacking and what you're attacking with. And right now it looks like uh, Daboot was just told by Pickle Pants that he's taking on number two. Uh, he had the army composition given him a few hours ago, but he obviously didn't know what base it was for. So let's see what he can do. Had one minute to prepare for this. Um, looks like he was given uh, four or five golems and then a few hogs, some wizards, kind of a weird army composition, an earthquake spell, um, kind of a almost a troll uh, army composition. But uh, for the most part, these guys gave serious army compositions. I watched a few of the attacks. Uh, looks like, though, he's going to come in with some, uh, his all five of his golems on the bottom here, uh, which might be a smart place. Just going for the two star, obviously being a Town Hall 9 and obviously not knowing what army composition he had coming into this. Uh, almost got in with some wall breakers, but he's going to have to use a jump spell uh, unless that last wall breaker can bust through right there. Uh, yeah, there he goes, opens it up. So actually looking pretty good. Um, he actually dropped that jump spell thinking he wasn't through, but he was. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how his troops do. Coming in with the hogs now on the bottom left, and looks like they're going to get eaten up pretty fast. The infernos aren't going to be on them. Uh, and only a level 15 queen, so that does not look good. A golem's coming out of the CC, so that's the end of his queen right there. And then, obviously, those hogs will be just destroyed. Dropped that earthquake spell, but that's going to do it. And uh, just has one rage left for a few golems, but a nice try, obviously. Um, wanted to show you guys a live attack, because these are, are kind of funny. And hopefully, I'll pick up another one or something to bring you guys. Uh, but basically, yeah, that's it. Uh, just... A fun Thanksgiving event, uh, not too serious, giving everyone a chance to kind of troll their fellow clan mates. Uh, but for the most part, people have given serious army compositions. So it's interesting in like a minute to see how people can say, uh, all right, I'll take these troops and I'll take out this base in this way. Uh, so we've had some three stars, had some two stars. I'll try to bring you guys some more coverage of it. Um, but let's look at the comments real quick. Um, a little bit bitter, but uh, all in good fun. Uh, so nice try to the boot, and he'll get a few percentage uh, before that mortar takes him out uh, right there. So that'll do it for this one, uh, 30%, and yep, that's it. Uh, pretty funny stuff. Uh, looks like we have a defense going on, uh, but people have done actually pretty well, I think, given uh, the situation. Have, you know, a lot of one stars, but have gotten a fair number of three stars, and I think the Town Hall 8s... Um, especially towards the bottom, did pretty well. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get another live attack for you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and splice one in, uh, just because I think one's coming soon that I can record tonight. Uh, and So uh, stick with me, and I should have another one coming up pretty soon. All right, guys, I am back. It's just a few minutes later. Um, I believe we have Surgical Barcher going in. Um trying to three-star base, I believe. Uh, it's number 30, so uh, going down pretty low here. Uh, Town Hall 8, we'll take a quick look at it. Um, like I said, he doesn't know the army composition, or he does know the army composition, but he right now he was just told what base he was going to attack, so uh, has one minute to prepare uh, to see what he's going to do with those troops, how he's going to take out this base. Um, it'll be interesting to see, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and back out and wait for him to go live. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get in because there's a lot of people on. And here we go. Oh, it looks like it's Vortex. Never mind. Uh, Vortex is going in on 30, uh, not Surgical Barger. So anyway, though, uh, he has a Go Va, Ho, Lo, a lot of different troops uh, up. I guess whoever gave him the base uh, wasn't nice enough to just make it a hog attack because he probably could get the base with that, but has to make it a very complicated army composition especially to troll those Town Hall 8s because I have to give them a hard time because it's usually uh, somewhat easy for them to get the 3-star against the 
uh, easy bases, but a uh, good use of the Earthquake spell right there. He'll just let his Valks all the way into that big core. Obviously has the balloons that can kind of go around the outside once those air defenses go down. Uh, typical CC kill, just dropping some bar uh, Barbarians, and then the Wizards behind, uh, that balloon should go down. Uh, needs to create that funnel on the sides as soon as that Golem gets up there. You can see that one cannon's going to be an issue because it's not going to lock onto that Golem, and he's not going to be able to... Uh, get the funnel on that side really but anyway the Valks are, they look like they'll sneak in plus he has some few CC Valks so quite a few Valks all making their way in looks like most of them are going to the core which is great he'll have a heal for them in there to keep those guys up and then the hogs coming in on the side just to get some of these defenses um I think that's that heal spell yeah that looks pretty good because the Valks should go up into it and then obviously the hogs will get the benefit of it too so kind of getting that two for one on that heal spell for the most part, uh, starting to send up some balloons and doesn't have very many, so it uh, looks like they're going to go down uh, somewhat quickly, but uh, has a lot of troops left up, a lot of those Valks are still up. He is going to have some trouble getting to those cannons and stuff uh, because there's so many walls in the way and those balloons are going down. It looks like the last few hogs are going down, um, so this might not be a three star, uh, but looks like it was a good effort. I mean, that's probably what I would have done. Just didn't have enough balloons really in his army comp. Could have probably used a few less Valks, but obviously he's not the one that came up with the army comp. So uh, we're not gonna, you know, take any points off his attack. It was a great, great effort. Uh, still has the king's ability. Few wizards, but obviously not enough to get the three star. Uh, so nice try. Um, should have one or two more attacks hopefully for you guys. Um, gonna go ahead and just as they go, I'll go ahead and start recording them and get them all together for a video. But I hope you guys like the coverage of this, and I'm pretty sure I'll have another video tomorrow for you guys, uh, so stay tuned for that. But a uh, nice try. Obviously very tough when you get the army composite, or sorry, you get the base um, that before, and you have to say, how am I going to use this army on this base? So good try there. Uh, we'll go ahead and back out and uh, wait for the next attack. All right, guys, looks like we're having an attack. Um, obviously just a few minutes or not about a minute later um looks like vortex is the one giving out the instructions i'm not sure who's he's talking to uh who's attacking didn't get a good look at that but uh 39 is the base i think what was said yep 39 is the base um minute starts now so uh basically this is the way we enforce it uh whoever's giving the base and the army comp goes on and says uh this is the base you're attacking. Your minute starts now, and from there you have one minute to hit the attack button. And obviously you can scout in that one minute, but it looks like he's going in pretty quickly. Obviously has the 30 second kind of grace period at the beginning to look over the base. Uh, so has probably a minute and a half, really. Um, but Ed Edoras taking on 39. Uh, should be interesting. Has more Valks. I probably has Valks in the CC. And then a lot of balloons, so kind of a similar attack to what we saw last time. Earthquakes to let everything into the core, uh, but first has to deal with those CC troops. So we'll go ahead and see how this one turns out. Uh, but I like the army composition that was given to him for this base. Um, obviously no troll army comps. We haven't seen too many uh, go wipes or anything given. Uh, but still fun because uh, obviously in a normal war people are spending you know, 20-30 minutes uh, sometimes with a tough base a lot longer than that, planning out their attacks. So uh, it's fun just to see how people can think on the spot and come up with something. Uh, but nice job creating the funnel here, dropping some wizards. Has that one golem out in front tanking. Um, everyone's having a good time watching this one. A few wall breakers uh, well, weren't really needed though. And then here come the Valks. I believe the C yep, CC has Valks too, but they should all funnel eventually on, on into the core. The king's going to help pull them in and then has a heal for them. Uh, that's it for spells though, so hopefully the balloons can get the job done. They have a lot of defenses to deal with, but they are a little under level, and we are buffering. Hopefully this isn't a connection problem. Sometimes they do this. Um, yeah, hopefully this isn't an issue. Usually doesn't go this long though. Um, this has to be my connection, I guess, but well, I'm still getting stuff in there, so still getting chat stuff. Um, 
I don't want to back out, really, but I might have to just splice in the rest of the attack later. I'm going to do a lot of editing, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It seems like I'm still connected, just not seeing the attack. Um, I'm not sure if somehow someone else got disconnected, the, the attacker or something, but I'll go ahead and stop the recording and get the replay in for you guys. Uh, so sit tight. I'll be with that in just a moment. All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, back right where we left off uh, on the replay. Um, not no spoilers. You guys are gonna have to see this for your own. Uh, but in my opinion, I guess he's looking pretty well at this point. Uh, those air defenses should all be going down. Um, Sixteen balloons uh, spread around for the rest of these defenses. A lot of defenses still up though. Like that entire ring is still up. Um, balloons at level five don't do a whole lot, but they're pretty solid. And not really deploying them right now. Fast forward, and looks like there was a disconnection, uh, which really sucks because in these kind of wars, um, they're fun, but you know you want to be able to see what you can do with the attack. Uh, so obviously, uh, I think he would have had a solid shot because would have deployed those balloons a lot quicker, and they would have in turn helped the Valks and stuff stay up. So uh, unfortunate, but got had to show the rest of the attack. Uh, nice try. Looks like everyone is kind of signing off for the night for the most part, but um, I'm going to do that as well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this kind of special video, and uh, it's going to take me a little while to edit it with all the different uh, clips I have to splice together, uh, but hope you enjoy it once it's all patched up. Um, that's going to do it. I'll have more, uh, maybe more coverage of this if we have some core attacks that come out of this within the, you know, the one minute planning period, people get some genius going. Uh, but should have, I know, another video I'm thinking about making a little more serious. So uh, see you guys in my next video. But until then, that will do it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.